Hey everyone, welcome back to Fantastic Recipes, and today we're doing a healthy rendition of a childhood favorite, tater tots. Stay tuned! Alright everyone, we're doing baked poly tots today from cupcakesandkalechips.com. They're baked, not fried, and no potatoes. Say what? Yep, obviously we're using cauliflower. Therefore, the collie tots. But there's cheese in it, and they sound good. So we're giving them a try. Thumbs up. Come on, look at the ingredients. All right, ingredient time. Ingredients. So we have three cups of shredded cauliflower, and we use both the florets and the stem. We already put it in a food processor, so that's how we shredded it. One teaspoon of salt, kosher salt, four ounces of shredded sharp cheddar cheese, and this is the brand that we used, one egg, quarter cup of cornmeal, one teaspoon of, or I'm sorry, half teaspoon ground mustard, few grinds of pepper. Okay, let's get started. So we have the oven preheating at 400 degrees. Actually, it's done preheating because I take too long. Um, and then we also have our muffin tin, and it's sprayed nice and greasy. That thing right there. That thing right there. Um, she actually uses a mini muffin pan. We don't have one, so we're gonna try to make it work and just not fill it up as much. So the first thing we need to do is um, take the shredded cauliflower and we gotta take the excess water, excess, excess, um, the extra water out of it. Um, if you have a kitchen towel that's nice and clean that you can do this in, you can actually put this all in there, wrap it up and get all that moisture out of there. Um, we don't, so we're going to do it, do an unconventional way. Hope you're ready to get a workout. So right now we've got two layers of paper towels and the cauliflower, under, the cauliflower underneath. And Charlene using her, her muscles to hopefully squeeze out as much water as possible. So we want to get these things nice and crispy. If you guys have any better ways of doing this. Please comment below and let us know. By then it might be too late. We are putting this in large, a, a large bowl because it's apparently where everything needs to be mixed. Boom. Boom. Okay. Now we are going to combine all the ingredients in a large bowl and mix together thoroughly. Cauliflower. Cheese. Wait, wait, wait. Cheese. Cornmeal. This is just the order I'm going in. You don't have to follow me. Ground mustard. As long as everything goes in all at once, right? Yep. Okay. Salt. Egg. Don't get any shell in there, please. Thank you. And pepper. More? I like pepper. That's good. All right, mix. Mixy, mixy, mix. Are we about done now? I think so. I think it's pretty mixed. It looks nice and mixed to me. All right. So now we are going to scoop out and place it into our muffin tin. We're going to scoop some, like divide it and scoop. Divide and scoop and then press firmly. Press it firmly. Let's try one tablespoon and everything first. As I make a mess. A little bit more? Yeah, let's make it a little bit bigger. By the way, does anyone notice the resemblance that Ariel has to Charlene? I don't see it. No? No. Not at all? Not at all. Oh, and mind you though, I did have the red hair and the glasses before I got the shirt. Just a heads up. Nobody cares. Jerk. <laughs> yeah. 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 That looks about right. right. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay. So, in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. We'll try 15. I always like to start with a lower time, lower, yeah, lower time, and then double check it before, because it's 
once you, if you over bake it, then there's, you can't save it. Boom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Time to take it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Watch out, bugs. Watch out, buddy. All right, boogers, you gotta go over there. It's hot. Go. All right. So we did ours for 20 minutes. It took a little bit longer for them to get that golden brown color. So. I'm just hoping that it's not burnt underneath. Oh. Still sizzling near that. Nice. Time to taste, taste test, taste it, taste. I'm excited about this one. I know it smells I really love good. Tater tots. It smells so, like cheese. Here's what we got. They look good. And you're up. Okay, my turn. All right. Would you like to go first? No. It's tradition, you go first. Okay. So, I've had, what have I had? The cauliflower pizza crust. I've, all, I've done a lot of those. This beats that. Wow. Like when it comes to, you know, like, what is that? Like the pizza crust and the cauliflower pizza. Like, you know, the different, the healthier version, right. I'll say. I don't know if it's the cheese that overpowers the cauliflower. I don't know what it is, but that actually tasted like a tater tot. So for me, it's a great ba base recipe. I would probably add a little bit of garlic powder or something just because I'm Asian and that's what we always do. But for me, I think for all out of all of our healthy recipes, I have found the five out of five. Whoa. Yeah, I am really, really surprised by that. Whoa. That is a fantastic recipe it's first, ladies and gentlemen. And I am eating some more. So uh, go ahead. Don't mind me. I'm wow. going to eat. All right, my turn. I uh, I enjoyed it as well. I think we probably could have left it in the oven for maybe like another minute. But yeah, it tasted a lot like a tater tot. And I want to try some with um, some ketchup because that's how I always oh. eat my tater tots anyway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was kind of surprising how much it tasted like a tater tot. What do you rate it? I don't think anything's perfect. So I, I can't go quite five out of five. I'm not going for perfect. Five out of five is pretty perfect. I mean, no, that's I'm five not, out of five pins. That's as high as it goes. I'm not saying perfect. I'm just saying it's really, really good for, you know, for a healthier version. The texture is great. It, it's seriously, it, it copies, it mimics a tater tot. All right, well, stop talking. It's still my turn. I, okay, I'm going to give it, I'm going to go four and a half out of five, which I think is a very respectable mm -hmm. rating, especially on fantastic recipes. Mm -hmm. Four and a half out of five pins for me. Do you stop eating and save some for me? I want to have some with ketchup later. All right. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. A five out of five pin rating from Miss Charlene. So thank you very much, cupcakes and kale chips. So that's our episode for Fantastic. Is it? That's our episode for Fantastic Recipes. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to ever miss a, ever, ever, ever miss an episode. Like us. Follow us on Instagram, our Facebook, and um, Twitter. Twitter. These, we got to get past these awkward goodbyes at the end of the show. Anyway. <laughs> oh, you know, hey, you know, leave us a co leave us comments and questions down below about anything about us, about you know what we do, about the food. You never know. Maybe we can do a you know frequently asked question video or something. And who knows? You may be able to see the man behind the vi the camera. Maybe. Mm. I don't think so. But maybe. Until next week. Until next week. Bye. Bye-bye.